Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. Today's video is going to be very short. I just want to tell you about a new feature that is in the latest version of Django at the time of recording this video, of course. So the latest version of Django is Django 2.2. And what you can do in Django 2.2 is access the request headers very easily. So before it was a little complicated to get the headers for the requests, but now it's very simple. You just use the request argument here and you have headers and this is a dictionary. So what I'll do is I'll print this dictionary and we'll see it on the console. So I'll refresh the page. And if we look at the console here, we see the header information. So we see content length, content type, host, user agent, um, accept, accept encoding, uh, accept language, connection, cookie, and I see upgrade insecure requests. So this is all of the header information. And if you want to access it, uh, it's just a dictionary. So let's take a look at hosts. So just have the host there. Run this again. And we see the host is here, which is just my local host port 8000. And if you want to access the headers inside of a template, you can. So I'll pass them to this template. So I'll have headers be the key. And then the value would be requests.headers. And then inside of the template, I have to use the dot notation. So I'll say host is, and I have to use the Jinja variable brackets. I'll say headers.host. So just use the dot notation. It should, shouldn't be case sensitive, let's see. And we see host is 127.0.01 port 8000. So just use the dot notation inside of the template instead of the square dictionary brackets. So that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. It's very straightforward, but like I said, in other versions of Django up until this point, you couldn't do this as easily. So it's nice to have this feature if you need it. And like always, if you have any questions about this video, you can leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't visited my site already, prettyprinted.com, you can. Um, you can check out the other tutorials I have, or you can view the courses that I have and learn more about them or preview some of the videos if you would like. So check that out while you're there. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.